Uh, we've got a call on the uh, caller on the line. We've got Eric from Houston County. Eric, how can we help you this evening? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I was wanting to ask a question, and I don't know um, what I need to do uh, as far as getting the help that I need. Um, I had took some medicine that the foot doctor had gave me, and I let him know that you know I have kidney failure, and I, he didn't check no my blood pressure or anything. Well, he checked my blood pressure, but he didn't do anything else besides that. And I took the medicine, and me not knowing, um, my, you know, how the medicine is going to affect me. So I went to my primary care doctor, and I wanted to get some lab work done on me for my kidneys. And they called me back. They told me that I needed to you know, go to the emergency room that my kidney's about to, about to fail on me. And I took the bottle that the foot doctor prescribed to me. I took it with me and showed him that, hey, this is what I took. And before this all had happened, I was in pretty much good health. I was checking my, um, my levels and everything, and, and I was wondering to see what y'all guys can do. Okay. Well, Eric, let me ask you this real quick. Prior to taking that medicine, do you know what stage of kidney failure you were in? Were you just like stage two, stage three, stage four? I was at stage three, okay. and I got a phone call from them. They told me I was at, at five. Okay. At five, yeah. but my career was at like nine and six. Okay. Well, that, that, first of all, that's horrible. Uh, you know, it, understanding this uh, and, and Eric I'd like to talk with you more off the air because I got to get a lot more information so uh, make sure the producer uh, gets out but uh, so what Eric's question is really for us is when you go to the doctor and, and they ask for the medicines that you're on and your previous medical history uh, you have to be honest with them uh, and this is the reason why you have to be honest with them is from time to time there are medicines or there are medical interventions that would be contraindicated, meaning that they would not work for you or should not work for you, uh, and you shouldn't do it. And so in Eric's case, it sounds like, and we didn't get into the details on air, we'll get into it uh, off air, but it sounds like that there was a medicine that was given that either interacted with some of the medicines that he was already on or interacted with his bodily function, namely his kidney functions. Uh, the creatinine level usually is less than four, and you heard Eric say it got up as high as nine. You say, oh, well, there's not a big difference between four and nine. Oh, that's a huge difference. That is a huge difference. Uh, and a difference between a stage three kidney failure and a stage five kidney failure is tremendous. Stage five means that Eric is most likely going to be on dialysis for a while, if not permanently, and that damage to his kidneys may be permanent. We don't know yet. Uh, we will have to get more information on it. Um, but there is a huge difference. A stage three kidney failure could be because of uh, any number of things. It, it can just be from, uh, you know, uh, just your, you know, hereditary. It could be part of your lifestyle. Um, I know several people uh, and have had several clients with stage three kidney failure, and they go through fine all the rest of their life. They don't move up or move down. They check their levels, and it sounds like Eric's primary care doctor was doing everything correct and checking the the uh, kidney levels on a. Um, or the kidney function levels, and there's multiple of, of the blood panels that do that, and they were doing that and watching that. So it really does sound like that, you know, Eric may have a case, we'll investigate it further to see whether or not the foot doctor, t typically a podiatrist, giving that type of medication or prescribing that medication, whether or not it should have been prescribed, first of all, and then second of all, prescribed with somebody with Eric's condition. So Eric, uh, we'll reach out to you off the air, and I hope that helps everybody you know, kind of let you go through some of the analysis that we go through.